All right, Shalom. Let's start first by giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai, Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai, Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect, those that will be chosen for salvation. Shalom. All right, got a video here. Uh, today is. November the 4th and as you can see I'm making another you know a video on this date there was a supposed to be some type of um, EMP attack or, 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 or drill today you know matter of fact let me go to that those images for you right quick right here you know to, to go on with that anti antifa uh, protest that's going on and you know we we the men of the lord are just waiting on all of this stuff just to pop off man we're just waiting on it because we know that this is all part of what's supposed to happen you know so um i'm gonna read some of these uh show you an article and then i close out okay this is a uh, I just Google EMP 11417, right? And it says, fact check, is the Department of Defense planning a communications drill to coincide with Antifa demonstrations? Right? I guess that's false, right? Um, here's another one that says, uh, Department of Defense EMP drill will not cause national power grid to shut down, as video claims. Yep, that was on KTLA. Um, nationwide EMP test November, the Technodrome forums. The continent, yep. But, um, this is the stuff that's going on. Even now live, the uh, U.S. Department of Defense EMP weapon being used, which I don't believe that was real. I think that was talking about it, perhaps it being used. And to for U.S. protests live right now for the riots, uh, November the 4th, this guy from the front lines, you know, they got all of this. Um... Of what's going on, Nuke? This was something that really hit me. Nuke Greenridge testifies on dangers of EMP mag electromagnetic pulse. Right, so he's one of the many that understand how serious an EMP attack truly is, or EMP uh, shutdown will actually be. And so I, I found this article a couple of days ago, and uh, just lined up beautifully with this. It says, uh. A North Korean, this is from Business Insider. It says, this is under the uh, military and defense. It says, a North Korean electromagnetic pulse attack could wipe out 90% of U.S. population. Expert warns the Congress. Right? That's what Newt Gingrich was talking about. So here's Kim Jong-un, you know, up there uh, talking about it. Some guys back in uh, October. Right, it says North Korean leader Kim Jong Un with nuclear scientists and engineers in 2016. Nuclear physicists warned that North Korea could launch an electromagnetic pulse attack on the U.S. in a congressional report. Such attack could decimate the U.S.'s food supply and power grid and kill up to 90 percent of its population. Right, that's part of the plan of the of the. Uh, the the Georgia Guidestone, the elites from the Georgia Guidestones anyway. You know, the 90% of the U.S. population. Why not the U.S.? Let's get them off the planet. It says, um, other experts doubt North Korea is capable of launching such an attack. But the authors of the report say it's time to get serious. Right? And that's pretty much what this uh, article is about. The real effect that an EMP can actually have on, on the U.S. It says, North Korea could wipe off the U.S.'s electricity and food supplies and destroy up to 90% of its population with an electromagnetic pulse EMP attack. Experts have warned the U.S. Congress. EMP is transported via warheads. Here's why they have these missiles in the background. That's why the missile thing is so big because they have to deploy that, that bomb, that electromagnetic pulse, over a certain area and then the radi radius of it uh, gets hit with the power failure right 
It says uh, EMP is transported via warheads above the America's so like above the Earth's atmosphere amid rapid and invisible bursts of electromagnetic energy that could jam an entire continent's and an entire continent's entire power grid, phone lines, and internet. That's no more communication. That's no more uh, refrigeration. That's everything is done. Everything's done. No phones, all that's done. Everything done with electronics, batteries, it's over. No street lights. This is the key part that you guys don't understand. No street lights anymore. The power grid is over. No McDonald's. You know, all of that's over. It says, and um, because the EMP spread in a radius of hundreds and even thousands of kilometers, such attack would require as much as accuracy to hit a target than other weapons so, excuse me such an attack wouldn't require such as much accuracy to hit a target than other weapons such as intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missiles if the icbm but the icbm is going to be right on target thus said the most high it says uh, a congressional report titled north korea nuclear emp attack and Ex existential threat yeah, you can click on that. I'm not going to click on a lot of it. I'm not going to read a lot. I'm just hit these, hit the description, close out. It said, EMP would jam the U.S. electrical grid and destroy the online and telephone infrastructure that currently supports the U.S.'s 320 million population. Airline and air traffic control electronics would also be destroyed. Airliners would crash, killing many of the 500,000 people flying over North America at any given moment. As Peter Vincent Pry, a former CIA analyst and one of the report's authors, he told the Forbes. Right, it says, uh, here we go. So he added that the country's food supply would be decimated by radiation and up to 90% of the population would die within a year. Now here's the... the um, the uh, possible targets that they can hit, you know, the dis the ranges that you could hit, right? If you look at it all the way from Honolulu, right, all the way up, it can reach North Korea, it can reach Guam is, is a stone's throw away. Anchorage is, is you know, is a little, a little something else, but it's not that much depending on the route you take because this is a round globe. So you just take the straight, the, the the direct path. You don't have to go around or take the direct path. It's not that far. I think Los Angeles and maybe D.C., New York, and Chicago might be the furthest. Um, but nothing. You you take out just those cities, and and watch what happens to America. Any of those cities on the continent of, of the of North America, this, this this place will begin to crumble. It said North Korea's ICBM may be able to reach many U.S. territories. Many experts, many other experts, however, have doubted that North Korea was capable of an EMP attack. In May, Jeffrey Lewis, a California-based uh, analyst, uh, so like it says, a California-based analyst who monitors North Korean propaganda for clues on Pyongyang, Pyongyang's uh, nuclear development. Uh, laugh for seven seconds when he when asked whether North Korea had the capability of launching such an attack. Uh, last month, the U.S. Department of Defense also withdrew funding from the commission at, to assess the threat to assess the like, to assess the threat of the United States from electromagnetic pulse attack, which Pry headed. Pry's report warned, however, that massive intelligence failures had underestimated Pyongyang's uh, long-range missiles and that the country would start getting serious. Yeah, they're still trying to accomplish this. After massive intelligence failures grossly underestimated North Korea's long-range missile capabilities, number of nuclear weapons, warheads, uh, miniaturization, and proximity to an H-bomb, the biggest North Korean threat to the U.S., remains unacknowledged. Near nuclear EMP attack. 
the congressional report said, yeah, they're ready for all those other ones, but they're not ready for this EMP attack. Right? Look at look what this guy doing. This is beautiful. I'm going to read what that's all about, right? An orchestra performs at a celebration in Poyonang uh, for hydrogen bomb test in September. It was just a hydrogen bomb test. Way right back in September. <laughs> and they did a whole symphony orchestra. Anyway, it says, uh, North Korea could launch an EMP attack on the U.S. by launching a short-range missile off a freighter or submarine or by lofting a warhead to 30 kilometers burst height by balloon, the report added. Or an EMP attack might be made by a North Korean satellite right now. Newt Gingrich, the former Speaker of the House, has repeatedly warned that the U.S. was unprepared for such an attack, right? Which leads you back into that. Yep, last month, North Korea, this is in September, uh, North Korea claimed to have developed a hydrogen bomb that could be loaded onto an intercontinental ballistic missile and launch an EMP attack. The ICBM, it added, could potentially travel about 62,000 miles, putting the, the majority of the U.S. 6,200, so like 6,200 miles, putting the majority of the U.S. continent within range. Yep, probably can't hit Miami, but it can hit the ones that we saw. It says, um, on Monday, Japanese Defense Minister Itsunori Onodera uh, told his U.S. and South Korean counterparts that the North Korean threat had grown to the unprecedented precedented, critical and imminent level, Reuters reported. Yes, see what we got. We're not going to play none of that. So we're going to go into a few scripts because um, you must know that these things must needs be, uh, they must come to pass. So we're going to start in Joel chapter 2. This is the blue letter. Um, all right. Um, Joel chapter 2 verse 1 says blow you the trumpet in Zion that's what we do man we go up there and we warn all you people that this stuff is coming it says blow ye the trumpet in Zion Zion is a, is a the mountain of the monument of, of the people of the earth which are the Israelites by race um, which are God's chosen people it says and which are the so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that may look like the other nations as well it says and sound an alarm in my holy mountain, Zion. It says, uh, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Hey, these are just signs showing you that how much closer that we are to the actual dreadful day of the Lord, to, 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 the, to the harsh level of the Lord. This, this is leading to that harsh level, but this isn't quite it yet. Right? It says, verse 2, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there have not seen, so like there have not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. There won't be another day like this ever in history. Not, not, not again. Before there was, but not again. Matter of fact, from there, I'm going to go to go to um yeah let's go to that second oh, i gotta go on something else go to second let's go to exodus so does chapter 10 yep in fact let's go 10 and 21 yep bear with me one moment Exodus chapter 10, verse 21, it says, well, yeah, it says, And the Lord Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, who you uh, ignorantly call God, said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt. Egypt, 
the word Egypt is a is a Greek word which means bondage. From the um, word Egyptos, right? It means bondage. Now, um, America is modern day Egypt, as far as a place of bondage. Bondage for who? In these ancient times, it was a bondage for the Israelites. In these modern times, North America uh, is 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 Egypt to the to the Israelites, so called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, right? North Central South America, yeah, that's what it is. It says, uh, even darkness that it may be felt. Thick darkness, gross darkness. It says, uh, Exodus 10, 22 says, And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. The grocery stores only had three days of, of food. Imagine the lights went off for three days. This country would not be the same. It will possibly collapse in 72 hours. Complete collapse in 72 hours. <clears throat> Verse 23, it says, they, they saw not one another. They couldn't even see each other face to face. Neither rose any from his place for three days. But the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Yeah, the elect. The whole children of Israel won't, won't have that in these days. They'll be right along with, with the rest of you Americans. That, that the CMP affects, you know, only the elect will still have, uh, be comforted in those days. Now, let me go to, um, yeah, second address. Bear with me one second. <clears throat> yep. Second address 15. Start around 11. Yep. Um, yeah, yep. As a matter of fact, I'll just read that one. Yep. It says uh, this is a future prophecy. What we just read was what happened in ancient Egypt. That already passed. That was a history on that. Now, I'm going to jump up um, to verse 10, 2nd Edges 15 and 10. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Yeah, because you guys aren't paying attention in, to, to, to what's going on spiritually in the world. You see all these uprises and, and uproars and, and natural disasters, but you don't understand that that means that your God, Yahweh, it, through his His son, Yahweh Shai, is going to come back to redeem you. Problem is, the two-thirds have no clue about that, and they're not going to get salvation anyway, but the elect, the 144,000 and one-third, of, of the of the of the tribes of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel, they will get salvation. You know, but the rest of you won't. So you're gonna take the same judgment as the people that live here in America, aka Egypt, aka Babylon, will, will receive. It says, "Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but He will deliver you out of Egypt after after death by pain." Anyway, it says. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch forth arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. One of those plagues, the ninth plague, was the, the plague of darkness. And I will destroy all the land thereof. And then they, you know, it'll be a fire and brimstone this time from the ICBM missiles, World War Three. So this EMP is just a forwarding of that of that going on. Another 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 level of the plague coming upon you. Right? Yep. Yep, I'm going to read 12 anyway. It says, because this is mainly talking about the missiles, the ICBM nuclear missiles. You know, thermonuclear uh, missiles, right? It says, uh, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. Yeah, so even though that that the the EMP complete grid shutdown didn't happen today, it can still possibly happen, right? It still is a possibility of things that can happen. Um, now, let me go to, and if and when it happens, Matter of fact, before that, let me go to Joel. Yep, Joel 2 first. Okay. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I need your oil three to lock in. Bear with me. Joel chapter 3 verse 9 which says yep proclaim ye this among the Gentiles prepare war wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say I am strong right that's exactly what we want right here that's exactly what this guy is doing. Come on now. Yep. That's exactly what this guy has done. Right? That's exactly what his agenda is. He's over there talking to Russia. Russia has got a, a trade deal with Iran. And, and they're all trying to build up to take down this devil right here that runs America. And the other parts of the world. That's, that's what this is about. Let them say, I'm strong. We're going to go from an agricultural nation to a war nation. We're going to put all our money into building missiles to destroy this place. Then we'll go back. You know? They just got to get rid of this, this this damn devil, this damn whore that sits on the back of the beast. Right? Got to get rid of America. Now let me go to um, the book of Amos. Yep. You got to see it happening, people. You got to see it happening. Because you get hit with that EMP, man. You ain't you ain't seen darkness like that. Some of y'all with the rolling blackouts in California and different other places that have that, that deal with that. Yeah, it's, it's something serious. You know? But when the street lights go out and don't come back on, yeah. That changes everything. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go to Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Because when the EMP hits, here's this prophecy coming to pass. It says, Behold, this is Amos 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the heavenly of the Lord. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. You stop hearing the word of the Lord. Life just came became crazy, and an easy way to to perform that is not just to shut off uh, um, YouTube or just the internet, but shut down the whole power system and collapse the economy, all in one one thing. You know, because that has to come to pass too. The economy's got to collapse here in America. It's already on the edge now. Uh, Amos eight and twelve it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea. And from north even to the east, they shall run to and fro and shall seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. And that's what's going to happen to you because you're going to realize that there were men out there teaching you and telling you to get yourselves right with the Lord because this place is about to be destroyed. You know, another prophecy coming to pass. So, so if the EMP hits sometime soon, hey, guess what? Family of the word just kicked in. You know, you can get that bad out there. You'd be like, oh, I need some answers. Hey, you didn't. if you didn't seek the Lord where he may be found, while the doors of mercy were still open, you missed out, man. The CMP hit, the famine of the word is in full effect. And more than likely, there's going to be martial law implemented also, which is another prophecy. Matter of fact, I'll go to that real quick. And um, I believe it's the same chapter or the next chapter in Second Address. Let me read down. Um, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to start at 14. Um, second address. Yeah. Let me read right up there. Second address. Yep. 
Second Andrews chapter uh, 15, verse 12. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. Yeah, ultimately it's going to be the ICBM nuclear missiles. But if he, drop, if he allowed the EMP to hit this place first, that's one level of another plague, man. He didn't just hit ancient Egypt with one plague. He hit him with ten plagues. You know, because you drop the EM, the, uh, the the nuclear missile now and wipe everything out, forget everything else. You don't have to worry about that. But if you start hitting plague, you know, smaller plague leading up to bigger plagues, which has been going on, guess what? <laughs> America will, 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 will be a, a tormented with, with death as it, it's on its way out. Anyway, um, Second Edges chapter... 15, I'm going to go up to 13, says, And that they that till the ground shall mourn, like they said, all the population, and 90% uh, uh, of the population and the food supply would, 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 would cease, right? For their seeds shall fail through the blasting and hail and with the fear for constellation. Ultimately, that does mean that the missiles will burn all that up and make this place a perpetual wilderness and a desert. But this EMP level could, could begin that. It could begin that. I, if America got hit by the EMP, I don't see it going a year, like the article was talking about before everybody dies, 90% of the population dies off. I see it hitting soon. These other countries hitting that, oh, America's down, let's hit the let's hit the, hit the nukes on them. Right? It says, uh, for the sword and their destruction drop nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hand. They're calling this Antifa thing. See if I can find it. They're calling it Antifa thing a war. They're literally calling this a war. This is the slowest. They're literally calling it a war. Yeah, front lines of Antifa civil war. And that's what this is. This is literally a civil war within the country, pitted against itself. Let's go back real quick and close out. Um, yep. Yep. It says, uh, for the sword and their destruction drive. Now, that's why gun sales is at all time high right now. And bullet sales. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be a sedition am among men in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able that's talking about martial law, cutting off certain streets. Where's your papers? It says, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. The modern day sword is the gun and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Your houses will be broken in, and people will come in here and take your food and kill you off or keep the ones in your family that they want. It has value to them. That's it. That's what they're going to do. This has to come to pass. This isn't written for nothing. You know? So with that, I'm going to close out and give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Lord willing, he allows... Uh, these plagues to, to, to hit this place, man. Keep one more plague, hit, hit us with another plague so we can get to the next step to get the hell up out of here, man. You know? I pray that that, that the Akim are, are uh, uh, stable-minded enough through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this Bible to be the stability of, of the times. So we're going to give all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim, and Shah, double honors to the apostles and elders, who rule well and taught, taught me this truth. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect, the house of David, that will get salvation. Shalom. Death to America.